Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo Chromebook 11. The model is an N22 and this model comes with a 4 gig RAM and 16 gig storage. I went over why you can't upgrade the SSD by yourself at least or if you could, what are the options or the method of upgrading it. You can check those videos separately but in this video I'm gonna go over the RAMs and because people keep asking me why I can't upgrade the RAMs, I keep telling them that the RAMs are soldered on the board and they're not upgradable and they still say that can I show them. So in this video I'm going to cover that, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and show you the RAM modules installed on the motherboard so you guys can take a look at it. First, thing, first this one is an Lenovo N22 as I mentioned, 4 gig RAM. We're gonna flip it, power it up, flip it upside down. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep the screen open flat because if I close the screen and open it up, it's gonna power on. So I don't wanna unnecessarily power it on. I'm just gonna open it up flat and I'm gonna leave it like this. And on the bottom cover here on the bottom side, we're gonna see rubber legs right in here. We're gonna remove these rubber legs. Tool that I'll be using is a screwdriver set. I'll be using my fix screwdriver set. Phillips number one from this tool set. For the opening tool, we're gonna be using a, a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. We're gonna remove every rubber legs in here. We're gonna stick the opening tool right at the bottom, wiggle it around and lift it up. Has a really strong adhesive. And there's a tiny letter right on here. It says B and there's a B letter right on top. That means this leg belongs to this corner so if you try to put it in the other side it's not gonna fit so keep the rubber legs in one pile go ahead and remove every one of them this one is an A C and D once we remove those now we're gonna remove every screw that we see down here including the ones under the uh, rubber legs Go ahead and remove all of them. All these screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just remove them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to understand why or how you can upgrade or service your laptop, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It'd be a tremendous motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a comment area. All right, once we remove all the screws, we're gonna keep them in one pile. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna grab the opening tool. And we're gonna start, I see somebody try to open it with a screwdriver in here. It's like a dent the corners. So that's why I'm saying always use a guitar pick. With a guitar pick, you're not gonna damage anything. You wanna stick it between the top and the bottom cover like that. And you just wanna twist it. And you wanna hear those big clicks. That's what you wanted here. The front end, those big clefts that you they're getting loose, and you want to do the side, fold it to the back corner, and now this portion and the portion right here you want to do this too, right there, and right there. Once it's open up, you want to run your fingers right across. You want to put your thumb right on the hinges and bring it, push it up so you can loose up those hinges in the corner right there. Once you got this one, you don't want to yank it up. This is very, very important. You want to kind of flip it like this. And as you flip it, you want to keep the bottom closer to the bottom portion and bring it like this. Keep bringing it like this and flip it over all the way to there and then flip it like this. That way you don't damage the flex cable. Do not lift it up to the no, right there. Now, we don't need to disconnect the keyboard or anything like that. So there we have the uh, CPU right there. And we have the RAM chips, which are right over here, soldered on the board. You cannot replace the RAM modules. If you even buy the RAM chips and you take it to a shop to do a reballing on here, to, it's a risky process. And it's still not gonna work because the BIOS is configured based on this NAT chip. 
So there is no reason for you to open it up. There is no reason thinking that you can upgrade it. So if the RAMs are not upgradable. Same thing goes as my last video with an SSD drive. This is an EMMC chip, which is a 16 gig. If you bought a 64 gig, it will be the same place. So those are things that are not upgradable unless you take it to a good technician that knows how to replace this chip and they can desolder them and solder a bigger chip in here on the storage, not on the RAM. All right, pretty much that covers this video. Now we're gonna put it back together. We're gonna flip it like this, bring it. There's a thermal pad for the CPU right there. So bring it over, lay it down straight over. And now you wanna punch down the push down, squeeze the top and bottom portion together. And you wanna hear those clicks. That's what you wanna hear. There's a, you wanna push in here. There's a little clip that goes in place. And then you want to close the screen a little bit. Well, I can't pick up this key topic right there. And you want to squeeze the corners here. Make sure it goes right in the in place. There we have it. Once you have all those in there, all you need to do is to power it down. I mean, close it down and put the bottom screws and at the end, put the rubber legs right on top. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys to understand why you can't upgrade the RAM for this Lenovo Chromebooks. If you like this video, please click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them and take requests all the time. I appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.